Well, as you look at the Piston bench without Rasheed Wallace, he went inside with Arnie Cantor to get taped, so he should be back shortly. As for Allen Iverson, he has scored more than 40 points in a game, an amazing 79 times. And after his 15, helped beat Orlando the other night. I asked him if he ever felt like he played a key role in a game and was only the fourth leading scorer in his own team. You read some of the quotes the past couple of days. He said, it felt great to score big when he was younger, but as for getting 15 and a win, he said, it's strange, but a good feeling. Makes me stronger at the end of the game, not being double and triple team. And in the past, even if I had 20, I felt like it was a bad game for me. Now, interestingly enough, when the Pistons won their three championships, their lead Leading score average just about 18 a game. And for what it's worth, that's what Iverson is averaging leading the Pistons. 18 a game. Back to you, George. Well, that's a good sign. Well, nice to have you with us this afternoon. Nice to have Allen Iverson with us, that's for sure. Yeah, and, at, and this, at this stage of his career, he understands what his responsibilities are and the sacrifices that he has to make. George, I think every guy, by the, everybody in a Pistons uniform is sacrificing to some degree. And they're getting payback. This team's playing extremely well. Pass goes deep in the paint to Kwame Brown. He pushed off, says Derek Stafford, to get to the ball. Kwame did not agree, as you look at Michael Curry and assistant coach Pat Sullivan there on the piston bench. Two fouls on Kwame, and that's the seventh piston turnover against two for the Nets. Pistons lead, though, by 6, 26-20. Douglas Roberts shot off the front of the rim. Rodney Stuckey on the run, gets inside Roberts, but Roberts blocks the shot. It's out of bounds, off the nets. Yeah, that was going to be a tough finish because there were four nets racing back, all running after Rodney Stuckey, and you had to figure somebody was going to get this against the glass. Douglas Roberts, he's right there, but there's the rest coming right behind him. Fortunately for the Pistons, they keep it, and with plenty of time on the clock. 20 on the 24. AI with a bounce to Aaron Aflalo. Zone defense now yep. by the Nets. Allen Iverson over the zone for three. It won't go through. Jarvis Hayes with a good seal off and the rebound. Carter tried to bounce it deep to Boone. The Pistons get a takeaway. Spin by Aaron Aflalo, but he couldn't finish the shot. Off the floor to Nahara. Four court for Douglas Roberts. Rodney Stuckey tried to save it and went over row one down there. And some people sitting in the expensive seats. Got to meet Rodney in person. Here he goes. Boston Celtic great Bill Russell used to say, that's why you buy those seats. Sure. Rodney Stuckey will get a rest. Tayshaun back on the floor, checking Jarvis Hayes. Devin Harris now on the court for the Nets. Crossover by Harris. The dish to Carter. A long three off the iron. And Lopez looked like he pushed off trying to get to the rebound against Kwame Brown, who had him sealed off. Loose ball foul on Lopez. George, I like what the Pistons are doing when Devin Harris gets into the lane. They're walling him off and not letting him get all the way to the basket to finish. But be careful, he can pull up mid lane as well. But so far, forcing him to kick it out, not a bad thing. Pistons, who's on the floor feature, presented by Wall Side Windows. Allen Iverson, Aaron Afala, Kwame Brown, Tayshon, and Jason Maxiel from the corner. Aaron for three. Uh-uh, Tayshon with a follow. That's off the iron. Tapped outside. Kwame Brown is there. Allen Iverson looking for a Kwame screen. Gets it. Drives it. Wanted to dish it to Tayshon. The Nets knock it out of bounds with 14 on the 24. Bobby Simmons. Bobby Simmons. And EGN Leanne. Check back in for the Nets. The Meyer scouting report on these shows him averaging 9, 6, and 6 rebounds and shooting just under 40%. That's our Meyer scouting report. And while we were doing a scouting report, Vince Carter just got tossed. And Lawrence Frank, his coach, out to hold him away. 
from Danny Crawford. And he's trying to get his money's worth. This goes back a ways, though, George, when he went inside in the first quarter and thought he was hacked and didn't get a call. His frustration began then, continued to mount, ending in his ejection. Yeah, he just wondered what he said. I mean, that's taken a player that people love to watch play out of the ball game with 6 and 48 to play in the first half. It's a huge loss to this team that counts so much on its starting backcourt. Take a look, he's right there going after the official. So far, he's okay. Derek Stafford. But he keeps on talking. Tease him up. Now he says some more. Tease him up again. I don't like it. But the Pistons will take it. They lead by seven. Allen Iverson with a baseline pop. They won't drop. Big time rebound, though, by Jason Maxeal. Skied and covered that thing and ripped it away from everybody else. Well, a lot of times when you play zone, blocking out is tough and offensive rebounds are a possibility. AI with a drive. Bobby Simmons saves it. But he was standing out of bounds when he bounced it off the Pistons. Nope, no. No, he wasn't. It's going to be Nets' ball. So he did get a save. You look up and you marvel at the defensive job that the Pistons are doing, allowing just 20. But, hey, New Jersey not bad. Pistons can't get away from them. Devin Harris. Shot blocked and taken away by Aaron Aflalo. Aaron gives it up to Jason Maxio. Jason with a dynamite drive, flips it up, fills it up. Count that baby, and a foul. Then we'll get a timeout with 5 and 56 to play in the first. Those fans like our Fox Sports Detroit telecast, and they got to love Jason Maxiel with this power move through the foul on Devin Harris. Welcome back to the Palace. Don't forget our Caesars Windsor halftime report with a couple of plays like that as part of our plays of the year for 2008. We'll look at those at halftime. And of course, we will revisit Greg's game plan and get some insight from the coaches, too. There's the man who made the block. And there have been Tayshaun Prince gold medal posters here this afternoon on this last day of 2008 is Tayshaun. Help the USA basketball team bring home the gold at the Olympics this summer. Will it be a three-point trip for Jason Maxiel? No, it won't. Off the heel. Tapped outside, though. And coming right at us, Jarvis Hayes and Devin Harris and Allen Iverson. And Devin gets up a little bit slowly. Thank you. Wait. Well, we saw that ball coming right at us as it came off the heel and was tapped by Lopez and tapped away by Kwame Brown. Here they come. I think they were after Joe Abramson, our statistician. Well, it was certainly in 3D. I thought we were all about to get clobbered. Pistons inside to Tayshawn for the turn and gun. He got it. 